<clears throat> Hello everybody, um, welcome to your first SFML tutorial, um, I'm a bit sick so if I sound a bit hoarse you know why, but you should be able to understand me. So now I don't really want to go in, in depth into installing it because there's different ones for different languages, well I'm using C++ just so you know, but there's different compilers and stuff, so I'll just tell you what you need to do. And if you still don't understand, then go to my Lego tutorials and just follow the same procedure and I'll make it work on your computer. So basically when you download it for your particular compiler, um, what you need to do is take the include files and put it into your compiler's include folder. And take your lib files and put them in your compiler's lib folder. And <coughs> then... <coughs> Once you've done that, then you have to set um set it in your compiler, and they have the they tell you how to do it on the website, right? So um, you could I'm gonna put that link in the description, and basically in the linker settings. So let me zoom in here. So basically, you have to put these th three things. So those are the three main things I'm gonna be using. We'll add more later, but those are three main things. Okay, so enough of that. So now we need to start the code. Now I need to make a console application. Now Win32 console application. Now this um this is a little program that will just create a blank window and this is if you'll see if you actually install the right and stuff. So first um if you notice in your include file you have a SFML folder and you would have dragged that SFML folder into your include directory. So that's where we're accessing right now. So you put SFML and then we're gonna put graphics dot HPP. Now um th we're using this means we're using a graphics library. Now in the SFML tutorials on their website they use a Windows um library which just allows you to um show static pictures right but we want to show moving pictures and that's where the graphics library comes in and um the graphics library includes the windows and all that stuff right so um this is why we need it so now we're going to put int main and we're going to put return zero just like a regular program now um one thing about sfml that use um the SF namespace. So if you've noticed in your beginner tutorials when you did using namespace std, what well you did that because um C out and C in were part of the um the std namespace. So if you um I won't I do not recommend um doing using namespace SF. That's the namespace they use. Um simply because then um, you'll have less variety to choosing names. Um, basically, uh, what a namespace is, if you don't know, it um, groups files. It puts them in a specific group, so then you can have multiple names for multiple files. So, an example for a namespace would be namespace um, A. Then I could have an integer called um, 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 integer, whatever. Sorry. And then I could have another namespace called B, and then I can have int integer, and they're completely different, right? Because if I were to call it, I would do put a integer, sorry, integer, and um, just to access that variable. And if I want to access the integer in here. Then I put B colon colon integer, and um, that's just giving you a bit of knowledge of how um, the SFML library works. Um, if you know how it works, then you'll be able to understand it better and code it better. And SFML is better um, than C, uh, um, than Allegro and SDO because it uses a simpler format, it's easy to catch on to, and um. It's made strictly for C++, so it uses object-oriented concepts, which will teach you good, program teach you good programming practices. 
<coughs> so now let's get into the code. So let's go to um you do SF render window and rendering window means if you know what rendering means it means like rendering our images means like displaying our images and stuff so um we need to use a render window if you just did window um then I wouldn't be able to draw images and stuff so we need to do render window and we have to have parentheses and in these um we're gonna put SF video mode and notice the capital letters make sure those are right and basically that setting that we're actually it's a video mode meaning that we're actually going to be doing animations and stuff so the video mode um, has parameters and it has three things in those parameters now listen closely first thing is the width of the screen so how far wide it is we put 800 second one is the height of the screen and the third one's a depth of the screen. And we'll leave this for 32 and we'll go into that more in depth later. And then we put a comma and then this is a title of our window. And that's basically it. That's how you create a window. Easy as that. Now it might be hard to catch on to, but it's relatively easy once you get it. And now to display a window. Oh, there's one thing I forgot. Sorry. We have to name our window. So it's same when we're making a render window. Our window's name is screen, and this is the attributes of the window. So now to display the window, um, we basically take this the window's name and just put display. So it's name screen. So we put screen dot display and opening and closing brackets, and with a semicolon, and that will display your screen. And since I'm using code blocks, I'll put this on pause. And the reason why I'm using code blocks is because for Visual Studio 2010, they don't have SFML for it. So I have to use this. We're going to have to downgrade. Um, and this is what you get. You get the title, whatever. And I'm just, you know, I'm not using Mac, I'm using Windows just for the Mac theme. So you guys don't get confused. And to close it, just click your console window and click enter. And that's how you create a blank window. Um, hope you look forward to my next tutorials. Thanks for watching and bye.